Hey, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike. He's Jay. It's spoiler review time. I'm very excited about this one. Oh, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Hold nothing back, guys. Straight up, before you start watching this, I know that you're not idiots, but if you've not seen this yet, do not watch this review. This is for people who have seen it. We're going to spoil the shit out of it. Stinky. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Bane is a driven man yeah. with a mask, yeah. and his whole thing is to create a uh, revolution among Gotham's like lower citizens, like the non-rich people, you know, the lower class, and give them the power to decide their fate. You know, give them power of the city yeah. to take away and strip all the uh, billionaires and playboy millionaires in the city down to nothing, and the police force be nothing, and then give the people the power. But his true motives is, is, to, destroy to, that is to destroy Just God. Just like because he comes from the League of Shadows. Yeah. He's a disciple of, uh, of Ra's al Ghul, even though Ra's al Ghul kicked him out. Uh, but I think that was that, I didn't even, I didn't like that. Like he was I like, like I kicked him out because he's ugly. No, <laughs> like, so, I, th I think what it was though was that he was actually a threat to Ra's al Ghul, so he he wanted to kill yeah, him. Yeah, but never Talia. But Bane, you remember he's saying I, I will complete Ra's al Ghul's destiny. No, he was all about Ra's al Ghul, but that yeah. was kind of sad because uh, Bane was still kind of like uh, like I love my daddy and I don't care if he treats me bad. Yeah. Let's just go straight into it. Right. Bane breaks Batman's back. That was badass. We, we said it was going to happen. It fucking we, happened. We were wrong. Okay, we did the trailer review and we talked about it. We were like, oh, he has a cane So in, in the trailer. So he breaks his back. One of our subscribers on there, or one of the guys commented, called that shit. They was like, no, I don't think that's what happens. He was like, he might get his back broken, but where he has the cane, it's where he was so fucked up from the last movie. Yeah, he's already damaged. Been, yeah, in this one, uh, Christian Bell's portraying Bruce Wayne as a kind of a defeated, uh, Phantom of the Opera, kind of reclusive Bruce Wayne. Yeah. He's injured. It's eight years after. <clears throat> he doesn't have anything to do with the world anymore. Batman's not been seen for eight years, obviously, because Bruce Wayne's not out in the world anymore. He stays in his, you know, east wing of the manor, doesn't want to see or interact with anybody, just recluse. Yeah. And <clears throat> it's because of the deal or the, uh, well, yeah, the deal that was made with him and Gordon at the end of The Dark Knight, where he was like, I'll be that symbol, I'll be the bad guy, so that Harvey Dent... And it was all about protecting Harvey Dent, and, yeah. and the image that Harvey Dent had, and not destroying that. Plus, because of the Dent Initiative, is what they called it or something, all the, all the bad guys that were locked up, if they destroyed his reputation, then they would all be let free. Did you feel like there, there, there kind of wasn't enough... There just wasn't quite enough of an eternal struggle... For Batman deciding whether or not to come back, it's like he was talking about it, and the next yeah. thing you know, it was going to happen. And yeah. the, the idea that they had with the leg brace, where like he kicks the wall, and yeah, remember, that, that, that was yeah. cool. I like what they did with that because mm -hmm. it, it makes it realistic that Batman can come back and do all these things. But the fight between Bane and Batman is fucking bad. Yeah, the first scene's way better than the second scene when they're on the steps. I thought you, you saw that in the trailer, like when you know Batman's standing on the court or courthouse steps, and then Bane's walking up to him. Yeah. I thought that was gonna be the fucking epic battle, but actually, I thought in the first scene when they first fight down in like the pit or whatever it is, yeah. the sewer. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, and I thought that was in the Batcave. You're right about that too. It was not in the Batcave. It no, was, it was uh, underneath of his uh, storeroom. Yeah, yeah, and that that. That part was just fucking awesome because you're sitting there and you're watching it and you're like, I can't believe this fight's happening right now. And you're thinking, you've never seen Batman like this. Even with the Joker and stuff like that, <clears> it's more mind games. Like, the Joker's never actually a physical threat to Batman. Yeah. But when he fights Bane and Bane's just beating the shit out of him, you're like, and oh thing, my god! <laughs> and the thing about Bane was is that he was so sure of himself no matter what he, what happened. I mean, he let Batman beat the shit out of his face. And he's like, oh, you fight like a younger man. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, I'm like, damn. And it's scary because no matter what Batman did, no matter how many fucking jujitsu moves that he threw at him and how many batarangs he threw at his face, it wouldn't make it. There was a scene when he threw like a fucking sparkle shit at him. And he was like, he just stood there. Yeah, he was like, a trick still work. I, I was like, damn. And you know, Batman's they, and they, they captured that on his face. He's like, I, I can't do anything to win. And I thought Tom Hardy did such a spectacular job. Yeah. Spider Man. I mean, he's just close. And, and the whole movie, Bruce Wayne and Batman, like, they're the same, but I keep on talking like they're different characters. Batman. Bruce Wayne <laughs> has had a death wish. He doesn't care if he lives or dies anymore. He just doesn't care. He wants to sacrifice his whole life for Gotham for anything. Yeah. And Alfred wants to protect him, I guess, by telling him that Rachel never chose you, so stop hanging on to her ghost. You don't have to die. Move on. Get on with your life. <clears throat> and then Batman, then Bruce Wayne's kind of like, goodbye, Alfred. And that just pissed me off. Like, it was an emotional scene, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I agree with that. Like, it was just, it was a hard emotional scene. Uh, what I have an issue with is that. First, that Bruce Wayne fires Alfred like that. I mean, this is the, the only caretaker that he's had since his parents died that's always taken care of him, that's always been there for him, that's the only guy that he could truly sit there and be himself with and reveal everything to. 
And two, that Alfred, when he's fired, he just leaves. I mean, he's gone. Like, that's it. He never one time makes an appearance except for the end of the movie. Yeah. And I, I just, I had an issue with that. Because in me, to me, Alfred would never abandon Batman. Like, he may move down to a fucking hotel, but he'd always keep checks on it. Yeah, and I asked this earlier, but I think that the reason that didn't bother me so much is because I think, I see what you're saying, but that was like a, the crossroads in the relationship. Like, they couldn't do anything. Like, Alfred was just trying to do the best for Batman. But I see what you're saying. Like, Alfred would just never leave Batman. But I think the problem is, is that in The Dark Knight, they didn't do a good, job, a good enough job of showing what Rachel actually means to Batman. Yeah, that's true. To show, like, what he's actually going through and why he, he's so torn up about this. But, well, the way they were trying to work it is is that Rachel was everything that he always needed in his life to yeah. be better than what he had become. Like, just this dark symbol. Yeah. He wanted to have a light, you know, at the end of the tunnel, and she was taken from him. Yeah. But they, they, they had so much they had to wrap up, and it was a little bit long, and they shoved it all into this thing. But it was so deep, and there were so many things to like, you know, sink your teeth into that it made it okay. But it's just, it, it's a, it's a, it's a tough movie to watch sometimes because one, you know, this great thing's ending. And I think, like, yeah, I, think, I, think I, I can't I, believe this is ending. And, it, and you want everything that you've ever wanted, you want it to happen because you know this is the last chance you're gonna get. I think you had it right though earlier. I think everybody that went to see the movie had a, had an idea in their mind of what way they wanted the movie to go, and yeah. it wasn't like that. The movie was flipped on its fucking head. <laughs> And Christopher Nolan took a gamble, he risked it, and he's like, I'm going to do something totally different, and I'm going to go my own way. Yeah. And if people are on board, great. If you're not, whatever. Yeah. But, but he had to. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's what he did with but the he, first but, movie. And he, it, it, his movies, uh, from Batman Begins to um, The Dark Knight Rises, was kind of like the Star Wars trilogy. It was an act. It was basically one long movie. Yeah. Act one, act two, and act three. Yeah. And he wrote it like that. And he even said, him and David S. Goyer, I think was the writer, said that in the very beginning, they always had it planned how it was going to end. Yeah. From the very beginning, and they never changed from that. And if I had to say what problems I have with it, it's that uh, the same problem I had with The Dark Knight. I, I felt like it was great that they did it and everything, but I, fe I wanted to see them focus more on Batman and focus more on the Joker. I wish that the, the, the Two-Face storyline would have been less or not been in it at all. And in this movie, I wish that the Catwoman yeah. storyline had been less or not been in it at all. And you they could have focused more on Batman and, and Bane. It's just... You wonder if he had like been it, forced into that. Yeah, they just had too much to no, do. No, I mean, you wonder... I, you honestly believe that he was forced into put Catwoman in there. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, maybe. I don't... I, I understand Catwoman is a huge part of the Batman legacy and she's been in the comic books and she, you don't know if she's a good guy or but a bad she guy. Wasn't even Catwoman, but she wasn't even Catwoman. Yeah, and she really, she was just a, a She feat. was great, but she wasn't Catwoman. No, I'm not saying that for performance, but yeah, she not one time, not one single time in the movie was there ever Catwoman's on the loose again. Nothing. Yeah. You know, and that's fine, but she's not, like, to me, she was just a thief. Well, I think that they realize you can't make Catwoman a serious character. You can't have some woman running around going... Yeah, even though that was pretty oh, sexy. Oh, some milk. It was sexy, though. Michelle <laughs> Piper did it. Yeah. And a leather suit. But, okay, so the last four, I guess, really is, I mean, the fucking Robin dude. I didn't know it <laughs> yeah Robin holy shit but we I can't believe they had the balls to do that I knew well I kind of guessed they were going to do it we, remember we had an, we had an, there was two rumors there was either going to be Joseph Rulep, it was either going to be Robin or he's going to be Azriel and dude it's funny because uh, uh, like years ago before they ever did Dark Knight Rises when Dark Knight came out uh, we were talking about that I was like wouldn't it be what, just a couple days ago even I was saying wouldn't it be funny if, if Robin was just kind of like a, a cop or like a, a Detective guy walking on the street. Yeah, they didn't actually make it. And Robin. he wasn't. He was not like you know superhero Robin. Yeah. And he was just a guy that Batman knew. And it really was like that because he was a kid that was in an orphanage that Batman. But I didn't see. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. I, I get slipping on my mind. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Robin was a kid that was. Uh, Batman had this orphanage, and Robin was a kid in the orphanage, and you know kind of grew up in the orphanage and knew who Batman was and respected and admired him and all that stuff. Became a cop because he felt that was the best way he could utilize his skills. And, he, and he's, you know, he, he's, he has the whole boy wonder thing going for him. Yeah. But the thing I didn't like, did you notice that there was no, there was no like lead up to it when he was like, I knew you were Batman. Like, it was just like, yeah, okay. yeah, it just happened. It was like, like uh, and then even, even, I know it wasn't meant to be, but even Bruce Wayne or uh, Christian Bell is kind of like, what the fuck? It's yeah. like, you know, it's just like, uh, okay. Yeah. It's like, That'd be like, if you like, yeah. not, if you were like delivering pizza to Bruce Wayne, like, not, not, he's like, it'll be 25, 50, uh, by the way, you're Batman. <laughs> but. The whole idea between Batman and Robin, I mean, I know that obviously you, you say Batman, you know Robin. It just doesn't work though. In the, yeah. in, in the in the Nolan series, it would never work as Batman saying, okay, you know, come with me and I'll train I you. I thought they hinted on in that one part though, when he was like, well, if you're going to be a loner, then you need to wear a mask. I, I thought like right then, I was like, oh my God, is he about to make a fucking Robin right now? But he did. But at the end, and then you know, that, I, I didn't, I didn't like, like how they announced it. I his, name, his name's fucking Dick Grayson. It was never fucking Robin. Yeah, where did that come from? Like, Your name's her kid, fucking Robin. It's just the way, a boy. It, what was the way that they said it? Robert, Robert, but she said it like that. Robert. It'd be like a shock. 
I like everybody was like, but I did not like how they did that. I think that they should have. They've trusted the fans to be smart enough to realize what's going on up to this point. I think they should have kept it going. She should have said Dick Grayson, and if they wanted to call him Robert, Robert, Robin, Robin later on, Rock and Robin, Robin later on, then do it. But I didn't like how they announced. It. But that's that's. Being do you like Robin as? You don't even like Robin though as a character. I don't. I don't like Robin as a character except for Death in the Family. That was awesome. That uh, was yeah. That was the most hated Robin of all time though. Jason Todd. Yeah, but I love that whole the, how they how they killed. But Robin. yeah, Robin to me was uh, I just I, I don't know I, I'm not I, yeah, I'm not gonna I, I might you know put it in my butt because it might happen <laughs> the next the next Batman series could have Batman and Robin starting and it could be fucking amazing. What if they start their own series and, and it's directed by Christopher Nolan and it's Robin? That would be fucking bad. I just don't want to. I don't want to see It'll a full Robin. Weird. I don't. I'm not a Robin fanboy. I've never been. I, I think I'm Robin's cool. But what if they? But, did, what if Christopher Nolan made one Robin movie? There actually was a comic series called Robin. No, no. But what if he did it? Would you like it? Because he likes Joseph Gordon-Levitt a lot. I don't. I mean, I'd be cool with it. No, I think. I think. But what, he was saying Joseph Gordon-Levitt to be Batman. Hey, so he's not. He's, he's Robin. He's Batman, but he's Robin. Like it's weird. Like what? The He's gonna have one half Batman, the other Robin. Yeah, but then he just kind of he, he splunks into the Batcave and he's like, okay, I guess no, he's like at the end, mine to take over now. You don't even know what I didn't even like the whole part where it was so hokey, dude. When he like goes into the the, the same pathway that Bruce Wayne went into, and then the bats are going after him, and he's like, and he I stands like up. I just don't like that. Part. I don't like, I was it, like it was hokey. One more spoiler to cover real quick. The end. Batman faked his death. He didn't. No. I don't know if he faked his death, but he's still alive. No, he faked it. That was gutsy, and I absolutely freaking loved that man. I love that they kept him alive. Die hard. It, it reminds me of that the the convo when they did that when Superman could hear his heart beating in the in the casket. I, I absolutely loved it. They didn't cop out like you said. You thought that Alfred was just going to turn around and the movie was going to end, and you don't know if he was there. Or That's not. actually what I thought was going to happen. But they didn't cop out on it, dude. Bruce Wayne was there, and I fucking loved it. What would you have done though if they had just ended the film with uh, you know Alfred smiling and then the I'd film have been ended. all right with it, but I, I wouldn't have been this happy about it. I, I, I love the end. I, I, I'm happy with what they do with Robin. I, I love that. And I, the last 10 minutes of the movie were the best for me, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. The last, uh, I, I think it was Gutsy Man, and he just went balls out. I think the best, the last like uh, 45 minutes were my favorite part of the movie. Yeah, that was awesome. That was my favorite part. I'm going to throw a batter ring in your face. Jay gives it an 8, I give it a 9. Guys, this is We Watch Movie. Tell us what you think about the spoilers below. Do it on this one if you don't care, because we don't want to ruin the movie for the people who haven't seen it yet. But all the spoilers, let's talk about them below. I want to oh, yeah, you guys think. Really quick, guys. As much as this is a plea, please, please be like you know, like nice, like don't be like angry. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry if we. Yeah, I, I swear to God, I, I want to add this little addendum to it. But seriously, people that have been giving these other reviewers death threats. Oh, no. Holy fuck, guys, come on. Like I enjoy <laughs> Batman too, and I enjoy the Avengers, but if it fucking's not a perfect, or like if somebody's not gonna agree with me, I'm not gonna be like, I'm gonna fucking slice your face up <laughs> with a broken piece of yeah, glass. We both then, love all three Nolan films. So yeah, that's the end of it out there. So, so we love you. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.